of you now we are going to discuss that program where we have to take the input of employee id age and salary and show that on the screen so first of all we will go with the file new so file save just name it as employee dot c okay so the path you know that c drive turbo c3 bin then employee employee is the name of file okay so you can see that employee.c is the name of file now everybody know that with the void main our program will start okay and there we have to declare the variables okay first of all i am giving the name of program by making it comment comment means compiler will not read it program to input employee id age salary now you see that everything employee id which can be 101 or something we are assuming it is of integer type so we are saying id as the variable so id is one variable employee age age is one more variable and salary is one more variable so now we are taking the three variables now further i am saying that printf enter employee id alt f9 control f9 alt f5 enter employee id press enter coming back now what is the function to take the input from the user scanf so scanf is the function which will take the input from the user and there is a syntax of scanf function the scanf function says that if i have to take integer type of input then in the double quotes i will say percentage d you know it already in the last we have discussed percentage d for the integer values percentage c for character values f for the float values right so d integer value why because i have declared the integer over there now percentage d for what i am taking the employee id so employee id i will say id so here id will be taken and everybody know that this printf and scanf function are the part of header file hash include stdio.h it is standard input output library so first of all i have declared three variables id age and salary i have shown on the screen enter employee id and then afterward i made it as scanf now let us suppose that i have to print normally i can print with the id now check out how it is working alt f9 compilation success control f9 error undefined symbol printf it should be not print it should be the printf control f9 again error what they are saying format to call printf no it will not be in the double quotes there is one thing which is missing in the double ha double quotes percentage d whenever you are going to display the variable you should also give its specifier okay so this access specifier percentage d you will show now control f9 executed enter employee id it is coming two times it is coming because earlier output is also there let us suppose i am saying employee id is 12 alt f5 null pointer assigned first of all we should go with the clear screen so that such problem not come clr scr clearing the screen now hash include conio.h that is console input output library for your clear screen and get ch i am also applying the get ch it will hold the screen and it will give the direct output control f9 error declaration is not allowed 
very first line clear screen also gives the error so that problem is resolved so enter employee id 12 I have entered employee ID 12 and the answer is minus. Now read out the program. We are printing the ID employee ID. Okay. Now control F9. Employee ID is 123. We have not used and sign over there and your C programming take out the value as per the address of the variable defined. That's why the minus value is coming and the minus value was what? Garbage value, any value that is garbage value. Very good. Now you compile this program control F9 and I am entering 1, 2, 3, 4. Is it coming proper? So as the program is saying program to take input employee id age and salary i have already taken the input of employee id okay so similarly i will ask from the user printf enter employee age so printf will display the message on screen Okay, I will I will parallel run this program so that you will see the effect. Enter employee ID 1, 2, 3, first line executed. Enter employee age, employee ID. Enter employee age, cursor is not waiting because I have not made the statement of scanf. So I will now say scanf percentage D. Percentage D because your age is of integer type, comma, ampersand sign before the age. Now you execute this program. Control F9, employee ID 123, age 20, employee ID 123. Now you can say printf. employee age percentage d comma age now check out the output control f9 executed employee id 123 age 20 employee id 123 age employee age 20 i'm not feeling very good about this output Employee age should be in next line. So I am applying here slash n. So it will go to the next line. Control F9. 1, 2, 3. Employee age. Now it is good. Looking good. Employee ID 1, 2, 3 age. There is one more thing which is spending which is salary. So there again I am saying printf. Enter. Employee salary right i am giving this one space intentionally so that whenever you give the input then afterward you get a space now if i execute this one control f9 enter employee id 1 2 3 employee age 20 employee salary employee id it is not asking employee salary because enter employee salary Cursor is not waiting because scanf is not applied. Yes. Scanf percentage D comma and salary. Okay. So there if I press control F9, now you see employee ID 1, 2, 3, age 20. Salary, let us suppose printf, then uh, employee salary percentage D, comma 
cell. Control F9. 1, 2, 3, 20. What is this? What's going on? Control F9. 1, 2, 3, 20. Is it okay? One more try. Control F9. 1, 2, 3, 20. Is it okay? So what is the problem there? That is not able to store the 90,000 because 90,000 is not falling in the range of integer. 1, 2, 3. Then if I say I am saying 20 and if I say this one, it is properly fine. But 90,000 is not taking because that is the out of range. Okay. Only the salary is making the problem. I will not change everything because if I change long int there, then all the D will be replaced. If I simply write here long int, then all this ID range and salary need to be changed. Right. Control F9, 10, 2, 3, 20. But there is a problem if I am not a good programmer, I will make the long int and that is a difference that will be the problem that I, I do not need the ID of long type but unnecessary I am saving this memory, I am consuming this memory because this memory is reserved for me. Once I declare three variable, the long type of memory is reserved for me. So that is a bad programming. What I will do, I will make these two as integer and only salary as long int so that the memory consumption should be minimum because these two are now of integer format specifier will change for yes only for salary it will be ld otherwise it will be d okay 